Hi guys, my name is Nathaniel and today we are going to be taking a look at the F-22 drone from Contixo. Okay, so now we are actually inside of the app and we're going to launch it by clicking this button right here. Once it pops up, you're going to see right here in the middle of the screen it says slide to confirm. You slide that all the way up and that will begin the launch process. You'll notice you'll get a little dialog box and what that's doing it's just letting you know that it is getting the GPS location in order for the launch. Now once it has gotten the GPS positioning, you'll notice the propellers will actually start. Once they're up to full speed, it will take off as you see right here. Alright, so if you take a look at the bottom right corner of the screen right here, you'll see that that is actually a record button. Whenever you click this, it'll actually start recording whatever the drone is seeing to your phone's SD card or file system. So there are other features on this app besides what I've already shown you, such as follow me as you see in the top left corner of the screen here. Actually, if you click that and you have the drone pointed at you, what it'll actually do is it'll follow the person that you choose it to track, which is a really cool feature. Let's go ahead and switch over to the actual video produced by the drone saving it to my camera roll so you guys can actually see the quality of the video. Alright, so while you guys are watching this thing take off from the actual video file that was produced to my iPhone from the drone, let's talk about some of the features. So the camera on this is actually a 1080p full HD camera with an up and down gimbal. The transmission type is actually just a Wi-Fi range transmission. It is up to 750 feet and that is on a 2.4 gigahertz platform. Now the RC controller range and flight time, this is something that's important. You can fly up to 1800 feet for up to 15 minutes. Now when that 15 minutes is actually up, what it will actually do is it will return to home automatically to save you from potentially crashing or losing your drone in an area that you flew it to. Alright, so some other features is it has GPS, it has gesture control, follow me mode, orbit mode, which is a point of interest type of filming, and then also has waypoint where you can open up the map, select a point on the map, and it will fly to that. Alright, so now we're actually going to jump right back to the app real quick. So one feature that I touched on earlier that I just want to go a little bit more in detail in is the return to home feature. So say you're flying your drone too far away from your house or the battery life is going down or you just don't feel comfortable flying it back to you. What you can actually do is in the top left corner of the screen right here, you'll actually see that you have a little return to home button. It's that arrow pointing with the H right here. So if you click that, it'll actually allow you to slide to confirm and it will return home automatically and you do not have to control it. All right, so one thing that you can't see is that I'm actually not piloting this drone at all by myself. Like I said, I selected the return to home option and this drone is flying itself back to home. It is going to use the point of takeoff and it's accurate to about two to three feet so it's going to use that point of home like I had said and what it's going to do is it's going to fly back and it's going to land automatically by itself which is a really cool feature it saves your drone from being lost it's just a very nice thing that they included that they didn't necessarily have to that other drones at this price point don't include now you see I'm waving here I'm actually not controlling this drone at all it is actually landing you can see my bare feet. It's going to land and what it's actually going to do is it's actually going to land and then it's going to kill the rotors so it doesn't lose any more battery while it's landing. Alright guys, so this was Nathaniel and I just gave you a brief preview of the Contixo F-22 drone. Now this drone has a ton more features. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to check out this drone. You'll also see the unboxing link in the description below. I would definitely recommend this drone. It is very easy to use, very easy to set up. It has cool features. The camera quality is really good. So definitely I would give this a check out. Like I said, link is going to be below and I'll see you guys later.